Hey brides, we're back to show you how to put all the focus on your gorgeous eyes. So you're gonna take an eyeshadow palette with a light, a medium, and a dark shade, and then an accent shade. We'll get into that more later. But you're gonna take that medium shade and sweep it all over your crease and down to your lash line. This is going to start to create a base and a shape for your eye. You're gonna take that same shade on a thinner, smaller brush and sweep that completely under your lower lash line. Take the same brush and the darkest shade in your palette and you're going to work it into your actual crease. Some people call it, you know, the mobile eyelid, whatever you want to call it. The point is you're going to follow the line that makes a crease and you are going to stop and start at the edge of each line. So I'm going to show you here. See how when I open my eye, there's a line that ends right there. It doesn't go all the way to the end of my eye, but it does go pretty far in. I'm literally tracing that line. So do whatever that is on you. Next, we're going to take that same shade, same brush, and just go about two thirds of the way in on the bottom lash line. Now take your accent shade. This is something that you either wanna pop the color of your eye, that's why I'm using a plum, whatever you wanna do here, but it needs to be in the darker range. And you're going to work that outer corner. So follow that outer crease line all the way down to the outer corner of your eye and sweep in covering about two thirds of your eyelid. You're gonna take the same shade on even smaller brush and do about one third of your outer lower lash line. Now you're gonna take the lightest shade in your palette and you're gonna go in over your eyelid and meet where it meets the accent shade. You're gonna hit the inner corner and you're also gonna go under the brow bone. I really like for this shade to be matte for wedding looks. It just helps with the light reflection. And then you're gonna take whatever's left on your brush and go around all of the edges to blend everything, lift the eye, and just make the whole eyeshadow look flawless. Now I'm taking some liquid, uh, or it's actually, a, you can call it cream eyeliner, gel eyeliner, whatever you wanna call it, but it's super long wearing. Maybelline makes a great one. This one's by Bobbi Brown. And you're gonna do a super thin line just across your top lash line. Then take a pencil brush and the darkest shade in your palette and gently smudge that line out. We want everything to be really nice and diffused, but defined at the same time, if that makes any sense. But that's what we're doing here. Next, curl your eyelashes, add mascara, several coats to your top and bottom lashes. We're really gonna push out the eyes here. While your mascara is drying, go ahead and fill in your brows. You guys know this. And then if you want to pump it up a notch, take a really beautiful foil or glitter eyeshadow and pop it just on the center of your lid and then blend inward. This is just going to catch the light and add a little more interest to your look. So like I said, top and bottom. And then we're going to add false lashes. These are the Ardell 811s. There they are. Now we're going to put on our foundation because again, we want the focus to be on the eyes, but we need the skin to be very flawless and not distracting at all if we're gonna do that, right? So really rub in the foundation so it becomes one with your skin. We're gonna do a little light contouring here, and um, you can use a liquid or cream product, but I do suggest using a contouring product and not your bronzer because you can end up looking really muddy. And again, we don't want anything to distract from the eyes. But all we're gonna do here after we blend this in, it's just gonna make the skin look really fresh and just gorgeous. Now we're going to take a liquid or cream highlighter. Go ahead and put that on. Now if you'll notice, this all looks kind of crazy and that's fine because we're gonna buff everything in in a minute and buff it together. And we just wanna get the kind of the highlight, brightening, illuminating highlight and contour down. Now we're gonna go in with some translucent loose powder. You can use pressed, doesn't matter. I prefer translucent, but just go and buff everything together on your face. Now that our eyelash glue is dry, you're gonna take that darkest shade in your palette and really press it into the base of your lashes so that you can't see the band when your eyes are closed. Now I'm taking a very bright blush, but applying it high up on the apples of the cheeks and applying it really lightly just to give a brightening effect. And of course, our bronzer. Um, again, bronzer and contour are very different, but that's a whole different topic. So just go around, warm up your face. Don't forget the neck. Sorry, I was having a conversation with my husband off screen. And then finally, now we're going in with our under eye concealer. So I love this one by It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eye. It is waterproof and it will not move. I love to apply it to the center of the face, um, on the lips as a lipstick prep. 
on the sides of the nose to etch out any nose contour and just to kind of clean up the edges of our bronzer and blush. It also goes over the highlight so it makes like makes it look like your skin's glowing from within. So blend all that in, just press it with your fingers. And now we're gonna go in and set with a little more of that translucent powder. You can absolutely skip this step if you're dry, but I highly suggest just a little dusting even if you're not because again, wedding looks, events, you can tend to get a little, a little sparkly. Now we're going to draw the lips with a very natural close to your lip shade lip liner and then blend it out with your finger. This is going to kind of slightly make your lips look a little bigger if that's what you're into. I am applying a very nude lipstick because again, we want all the focus to be on the eyes, topping it with a smidge of gloss. And then of course you have to go in with the setting spray to lock everything in all night. This is the final look. I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you soon.